Good blessed it, uh, Wednesday, October the 21st, 2000 in, uh, 2020, 2020 time for the change, uh, time for a new vision, a, a uh, new way of thinking. Um, uh, I want to just talk about a few things today. Uh, it's a day that uh, I would always remember uh, six years ago. Six years ago on this particular day and month, uh, me and my two youngest daughters was heading from uh, the VA Medical Center the Jesse Brown, I believe it is, Medical Center, VA Medical Center in Chicago, Illinois, on the west side uh, after my dad was hospitalized in there for about 12 days. And we had decided uh, it was time to bring him back down to the city and state that he was born and raised in, Charleston, Missouri, since me and my two youngest daughters was living down here. Uh, they had uh, diagnosed him with uh, dementia. I want to thank uh, a special friend of mine from Cabrini Green, uh, LaDonna Hendricks, and her brother, may he rest in peace, Jesse. Uh, they helped us uh, prepared to move my dad. Uh, you know, he was living in a condo up there and had to move a lot of stuff around and both of them helped me out. Uh, money was short and, uh, LaDonna, some of her children's helped us out with, with food for the, uh, stay that we stayed up there about 12 days or so. Uh, and I want to just Thank God, even I don't be, I don't speak with my oldest daughter. I uh, want to thank her because she watched it. My two youngest daughters, which was is her two youngest sisters, why uh, me and Ladonna and uh, her brother Jesse uh, made sure everything that needed to go out of my dad's house uh, was out. Also, I want to show y'all a street that my dad and his mom was uh, made, his stepmother was living in. Uh, uh, may uh, both of them uh, rest in peace. And it's a street that, uh, that I live on now, been living here on this street uh, since 2007. I believe some 13 years. Uh, a little bit more than 13 years because it was January the 19th of 2007. It's called Vine Street. That's what I like about Vine. My two youngest daughters, even though when they was born, we was living on the east side of town. One of them uh, was on 9th Street, Queen, and then uh, when we moved to 8th Street, uh, Bertie uh, was born. And we moved when we moved here on Vine, where we stand at now. Uh, Queen was 18 months old and Birdie was uh, six months old. Queen was going on two years and Birdie was going on a year. And uh, the house that I was living in when I first moved down here was on Vine and Boone. I'm going to give you all a tour of Vine. That's what I like about Vine. You know, I don't claim to run Vine Street, but I respect Vine Street like I respect uh, when I lived uh, at 860 North Cleveland in the row houses, Cabrini Green in Chicago, Illinois, on the near north side. Uh, I respected 624 West Division when I was living uh, in the White Projects in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, I, I respected uh, 
Congress Street when I was living in the 3900 block of West Congress. I respect uh, Noble in, uh, in Chicago Avenue when I was staying in that area. I respect 939 uh, uh, North Ashland Street when I was staying on uh, right across the street from Wells High School. Some of y'all didn't even know that. But anyway, this is Vine Street here, y'all. It almost reminds me of Cleveland Street in Chicago and Cabrini Green. It almost reminds me of 624. It's a, it's, it's, it was a unity. You see what I'm saying? It's still unity on Vine Street here in Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County. Uh, most of the disturbance, 99.9% of the uh, uh, disturbance that come on Vine Street is people that don't live on Vine Street. Sometimes it's people that used to live on Vine, but, you know, if the shoe fit wide, if it don't, don't let it bother you. But this house that you see over here to the left is where uh, my dad's mother, uh, his dad, may he rest in peace, and his stepmother was living. This is where I was living. My uncle and aunt, my dad's youngest uh, brother, uh, live there now. But this is Vine Street and. You know, I, I I love this street. You know, even uh, you know all all the way down from when we just where I, where I just came out of the little parking lot. It was on Main Street. Main Street is the dividing line of East and West. Uh, this is the 600 block of Vine uh, where I live. But all the way down, not just the people that live in uh, the homes. But people that live in the projects, uh, uh, Vine Street is, is, is uh, you know, I love it. You know, uh, my daughter's going to even miss it. You know, but they know we have to move on because, you know, this this town is really, and there's no disrespect to nobody, uh, but it's not a town to actually raise your kids if you want them to get a good education if they're black. I'm just being honest with you. I'm keeping it 100% real. This still Van, y'all. Van is a, a nice, peaceful street. Like I said, when you have issues, it'd be uh, most 99 point, I put it 99.99% .99 of the time is people that don't live here. All the way down to the end, my mechanic is to the left and some good friends is to the right. That's where Vine Street in about the 1200 block. But I'm going to come back with y'all again because there's a few more things that I want to talk about today. But wherever you live at, whatever side of town you live at, whatever block or street you live at, try to keep it peaceful, especially black folks. Peace be still.